In this video, let's see another problem which is actually a property based on transpose of a matrix. We have already seen in our previous videos what is matrix, what are the types of matrices, some numerical problems and the first property. This video is actually dedicated to the second property of transpose of a matrix. Let's see what the property is and then we would be seeing a numerical illustration on the same. So it says that for any two matrices, if any two matrices are given to you and those matrices say have the name A and B, then what happens is those matrices A and B of the same order will follow this property. That if you add the matrices first, that means A plus B if you do that and then take the transpose that is actually equal to A transpose plus B transpose. The another important way to understand this except the theoretical proof is illustrations and numericals actually help you to understand a lot. So let's see one numerical illustration for this property which will help us to prove it. We are taking two matrices A and B as the name suggests. We can take any two P and Q, R and S, any two matrices. So let's take A and B as two matrices and they have to be of the same order. So I'm basically taking them of a two by two order. You can even go with a 3 by 2 or 2 by 3 or any order. So it can be anything. Let's take it 2 by 2 or maybe it can be taken as 2 by 3 anything. We are taking it 2 by 2 for our convenience. Even B mattress because of the same order has to be 2 by 2. Now what we are going to do is we will be basically seeing some values are there in this matrix. Say it is 1, 2, 3, 4. It is 3, 4, 5, 6. These are A and B mattresses which are given to us. Now, we are supposed to prove these things. Let's take LHS A plus B transpose we are supposed to do. So, we are basically taking LHS first. What does my LHS say? I have to compute A plus B whole transpose. Let's compute A plus B first. You know that A plus B is actually equal to the first element of the first matrix plus the first element of the second matrix. That means 1 plus 3, A11 plus B11 a12 plus B12, A21 plus B21, A22 plus B22. The same procedure we are going to follow. Simply we will just be making a matrix which is a 2 by 2. Let's write the result as such. So 1 plus 3 is 4. Let's write here 4. Next move on to 2 plus 4. Again I repeat 2 plus 4 that is 6. Moving downwards 3 plus 5. Repeating again 3 plus 5 is what? It is 8. Last but not the least, I have 4 plus 6. I again repeat, it is 4 plus 6 which is 10. So this is basically what we have actually computed only A plus B till now. And we are supposed to find out the transpose of it. I write there T, T is written over here. I have to write transpose here. Transpose means what? You basically have to interchange the rows with the columns and the columns with the rows. So my answer will be what? It will be a new matrix which has 2 by 2 only because even after interchanging 2 with 2 you get 2 by 2. The first row 4, 6 becomes the first column. So it is 4, 6. The second row 8, 10 becomes the second column. It is 8, 10. So it is 4, 8, 6, 10 which is the result of A plus B whole transpose. Now we are not supposed to end here. We basically have to go to the other side. That other side is what? It is RHS. Let's make the heading as RHS. And it is A transpose plus B transpose that we are supposed to do. So A transpose plus B transpose means what? First you find out A transpose. Where is A? A is here. It is 1, 2, 3, 4. You have to find the transpose. What is A transpose? A transpose will be 1, 2, 3, 4 but in the other orders. Let's see. So A transpose is basically again a 2 by 2 matrix because if you interchange even then you get 2 by 2 and you get 2 by 2, 1, 2. First row becomes the first column and then what happens is second row, 3, 4 becomes the second column. This is A transpose. What about the next thing which is B transpose? Let's find out B transpose. B transpose is again a 2 by 2 matrix. How and why? Because here even if you interchange, the same numbers are there. The numbers will be same only. Right. The first row, 3, 4 becomes the first column. So 3, 4 becomes the first column. Moving here, 5, 6. Second row becomes the second column. So 5, 6 comes here. 
Now these things are already given to us. A transpose found out, B transpose found out, what is left? You need to add them. Adding them will give me what? It will give me a new matrix which should be same to this if the property follows. Let's see. You add these numbers actually individually. So 1 plus 3 is what? It is 4. So I write the result here. A transpose plus B transpose is again a 2 by 2 matrix and the result is what? 1 plus 3. 1 plus 3 is what? It is 4. Then move next. 3 plus 5. 3 plus 5 is what? It is 8. Then next, 2 plus 4. 2 plus 4 is what? It is 6. And similarly, last but not the least, 4 plus 6. 4 plus 6 is what? It is 10. So the matrix that you obtain as the result of A transpose plus B transpose is 4, 8, 6, 10. Here also you got 4, 8, 6, 10. It means that these results are equal, right? So you started with A plus B whole transpose. Result was this. You started with something A transpose plus B transpose, the result was same. That means this property is followed. So this is all about the second property based on transpose of a matrix.